everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here on site this morning with Josh. Josh is working upstairs. Uh, he's working on roofing boards, and I'm working on window sills on the second floor here. And what I want to talk about today is this chop saw. Now, I've never been a huge advocate of, like, you know, use the right tool for the right job. I think it can be fun and exciting to use, like, a weird tool or something that you kind of make yourself to get something done. In fact, when I was a cinematographer, people oftentimes referred to me as MacGyver, and they didn't mean that in the anti-gun kind of way. They meant that in the way that I would take junk on set and, you know, make it work and do beautiful things with it. So I think that can be fun and exciting. Incidentally, MacGyver, you know, he's, he's known as, yeah, I'm talking about like the old MacGyver, not the new series. The new series doesn't count. The old MacGyver was known as like, wouldn't use firearms or and all that kind of stuff, but if you actually watch the series, watch the first episode, MacGyver had no problems using firearms. In fact, he used quite a few rifles and created an automatic kill zone that really could have killed anyone. I mean, a kid could have walked through there and, you know, that's not MacGyver's problem. So, anyway, when people called me that, I took it as a compliment. Not that people were saying I was like a baby killer or anything, uh, but... You know, sometimes I like to use the right tool for the right job, and this is an awesome tool for this kind of a job. What's great about a chop saw is that it makes perfectly angled cuts. Now, I'm doing 90 degree cuts. You can do, you know, different types of angled cuts on it, but it just does perfectly angled cuts, and it's great at doing the same thing over and over and over, which is what I need to do for these window sills. Now, I just measured off this board that this is the perfect size for the bottom of this window sill over here. I put it in, fit perfectly. I checked it at the top. The top, you know, as it's supposed to be, is exactly the same size. So I'm gonna make a set of boards that are gonna be for the top, and I'm gonna just show you how I do that. I've got a couple randomly sized boards that I've laid down on the table here. I've got the ends lined up so they're nice and flush on the back side. I'm taking this piece, which is the, the length that I want to create uh, two more boards at. I'm going to put that on the top and I'm just feeling along the side with my hand to make sure it's nice and flush. If you're going to do a really tall stack it would be good to use a carpenter square but you, you know for just a couple boards you can just feel it across with your fingers nice and flush and then what I'm going to do is take the blade and just lower it until it just touches this top board. Get it all lined up and I don't want to push against the blade I want it to just touch it. Okay, cool. So that's all nice and lined up with this top board, and now I'm just going to cut through it. There we go. And now what I've created, if I can lift it, did I not go all the way through? What did I do? That was a really bad demonstration of how wonderful this tool is. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go all the way down. What I've created are three boards exactly the same size with perfect 90 degree cuts. If you are going to do a job like this yourself and you are going to you know, buy certain tool, types of tools and you were thinking about this or a table saw or whatever, this is a pretty cool tool. I use a table saw you know, for ripping boards down, but you can do that with like a, um, you know, just a hand saw. But for doing carpentry like this, you, you get a lot of use out of this tool. So seriously consider getting a chop saw if you're going to be doing a whole house kind of build or rent one. They're really worth the, uh, the expense, I think, because you get really, really great cuts, and it's a lot faster, too, because you don't have to use a carpenter square and all that. So I'm going to stop blabbing, get back to work, because we really got to close this place in, because it's getting cold. That's it. Thanks for watching.